Welcome to this short presentation of our standing seam click system. Our click systems have a lot of advantages over the historical installation methods for this type of roof. It's easier to install as it simply clicks together and eliminates the need for expensive and complicated seaming tools. It's also readily available and does not need forming on site. We provide longer warranties than any other competitor on the market and with our advanced coatings, this metal roof will easily last a lifetime. The fixings are incorporated into the panels via an integrated screw line, which makes installation faster compared to using brackets. We do offer our standing seam in a wide variety of options, from very narrow to wider, with three different upstand heights. Generally, it's recommended to use a matte finish on standing seam, for example, our Plador Wrinkle Rail Mat or the Plador Ice Crystal Coating. This is to prevent any visually unappealing effects, like oil canning appearing over the lifespan of the roof. Other options to eliminate this problem are low ribs running through the centre of the wider panels or choosing narrower panels altogether. Most of our roofs are made from coated steel, but we also have an option of coated aluminium core. The widths of the panels, as well as the height of the standing seam, is down to your individual taste. The Retro 38 is available in two different widths, 529mm and 325mm. Both widths have a standing seam of 38mm. The Retro 25 is available in three different widths, 554mm, 340mm and 239mm. All three widths have a standing seam of 25mm. All retro panels are available with a pre-cut option W for a prepared hem, a pre-cut option WZ for a prepared hem and a pre-bend hem on either side. The panel high tech only has one option for 528mm width and 32mm seam height with a discrete rib running along the sides. It's important to highlight the importance of the centre ribs in wider panels to account for structural and thermal movement in the substructure of the construction. Those are the options W for a prepared hem, which makes it easier to form the hem on site. We can deliver our panels in up to 8 metre lengths with prepared ends, cut to your project needs or as a standard length from stock without any preformed ends for immediate availability. In terms of roof build-up and membrane use, there are many different options and whatever is shown on the installation manual or in our videos might not suit your individual situation. Two possible options for the installation of standing seam panels. A high quality, thick membrane that is installed on top of a boarded surface, whereby there still needs to be an air gap in the build-up underneath, possibly in between the rafters and the boards. A special metal roofing membrane, often called a metal carpet, can be used. This is a very advanced option and it is highly recommended for larger and more complicated projects. The membrane will take care of the condensation created on the back of the roof sheets and also allows movement due to heat expansion of the panels. The metal carpet not only takes care of any condensation issues but also allows much more movement in the sub-roof structure as well as levelling out minor mistakes in the underlaying boarded surface. This is important if the roof is constructed with many hips, dormers and valleys and wherever builders cannot guarantee a steady level surface in their build-up. Another advantage of these membranes is their soundproofing capabilities, which will lower any noise coming from the metal in heavy rain. There is a number of options. You can install the standing seam system on a traditional batten and counter batten over membrane layout by spacing the battens according to the installation manual. It's always best to liaise with your architect for the best solution for your project. When installing our standing seam panels, whether that's the Retro 25, Retro 38 or High Tech, a few options are available to you using some of our standard flashing. Before putting down the panels, first an eaves drip edge needs to be installed. The eaves drip edge will provide a lip for the bottom hem of the panels to hook into, giving the panels a strong grip without screws. At the same time, it can also provide a fascia to the front. After the eaves drip edge is installed on the bottom, the panels can simply click into the provided lip to prevent them from being lifted. No screws ever need to penetrate the panels when they are installed correctly. The valley trough works on the same principle as the eaves drip edge. It provides a lip for the panels to click into, hiding the screws underneath.
the valley trough will be secured down with brackets or directly with screws. For ridge flashings, apex flashings and generally all flashings that go on top of the panels, we do provide a flashing attachment box that can be cut to the widths of your panel. It provides a backing to screw the flashing to while at the same time allowing ventilation. Attachment boxes ideally are fixed to the roof with two screws while the flashings would be fixed to the boxes with separate short coated screws to prevent penetration of the roof through the panels. Placing them carefully in the centre is vital for a neat and tidy finish. They can be temporarily fixed and sealed to the panels with double sided tape or mastic if needed. When installing a roof, in order to achieve perfect roof symmetry, the amount of needed panels should be calculated and widths of first and last panels adjusted. Here we started with a cut panel at the beginning to have a perfectly symmetrical setup. However, it's not a requirement and it is subject to individual taste. There is a number of options how to finish the roof off on the sides. In this example, we use a wider, bulkier barge board flashing on the grey section and a slimmer barge board on flashing on the red section. The slimmer barge board flashing will just hook into the upstand of the panels on the side and when designed and measured correctly, will cover the entire side and give a very simple but sturdy finish to the roof. When using the wider option, it's advisable to build up a construction underneath from wood or OSB and design the flashing to wrap around this. The barge board, similar to all other visible flashings, will be fixed with rubber coated screws. Those ideally will be attached to the sides. We are using two types of specialist screws for our standing seam system. Flathead zinc screw to fix the panels and all flashing parts that later will be covered by panels, for example, the valley trough. When attaching the panels with the zinc flat-headed screws, it's important to not over or under tighten those. Here, the structural metal membrane is very helpful as it provides just enough play for the screws to fix the panels without over tightening it. Over tightening will put stress on the panels when temperature changes happen and might lead to oil canning in a standing seam roof. If your panels arrive as a straight panel and you want to form the hem on site, you need to cut back the standing seam sheets around 25mm to create a straight lip which easily can be bent back with a simple bending tool. It's important to do this bend on a straight surface in one steady, fast motion. When installing a roof, we align prepared panels with previous panels upstand without closing the click mechanism. The panel needs to be lower than the previous panels in order to catch the lip of the eave drip edge. Then we click in the bottom first 20 centimeters of the standing seam and push the panel upward to position it until it is aligned. Now we can close the rest of the standing seam Click upwards by pressing it down by hand or hammering it down gently with a rubber hammer and a timber batten as protection for the coating. If it becomes necessary to create a longer hem, for example to connect to the valley trough, or if there is a need to create an upstand on the sides of the roof where the panels finish into the barge board, the bending tool can be used carefully by moving it along the edge needing to be bent and slowly bending it in 10 degree increments. If a valley is installed, it's advisable to work your way to the valley trough rather than away from the valley trough. These principles of installation stay the same whether retro or high tech is installed. There are a number of choices in regards to the coatings that protect the core of the panels and those coatings affect the lifespan of the panels as well as their appearance. Raising the standard in the industry, we can offer warranties of up to 60 years. All these different coatings are available in a wide range of colours, so there are plenty of choices for each individual taste.